Warning! The following audio may contain coarse language and other material that may not be suitable for a younger audience. Listener discretion is advised. Also, we may spoil everything and anything, so you have been warned. Have you have, real talk, Gene? Have you have you seen have you seen White Album? I fucking love White Album. No, I what? Was, See, oh night. my god, is that a school day? Okay, what? Listen, what? Okay, okay. Shaven, One shaven, second. Shaven, okay. So no, 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 guys, we're starting recording now. I've already been recording. recording. Now. I have okay. that. I've been recording. Okay, no, no, Gene, say your intro, and then we're going straight back <laughs> into this. Okay, okay go. Hello, good day, and good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to our wonderful of wonderful podcast. Yes, I did steal Tristan's intro because he's fucking cool like that. Sometimes. Unoriginal piece of shit. Anyway. I would say he's even frosty. <laughs> no offense. I have no originality no, totally whatsoever, offense. but I am Jean from Anime Appraisal, and I am back. And with me today, I have Tristan from Glass Reflections. From I am Sickville, so if my voice sounds like shit, you now have reasons. And then we have Holden from Holden Reviews. Hey guys, how's it going? And we have Gigguk from the Anime Zone. And I'm hungover, Ville, so I hope I sound energetic because I'm really not. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, before we start roll call, I just want to say one thing. And if you heard that intro, which we're going to keep <laughs> in because it was a great little moment, but you know what we're going to be talking about uh, right, right no, now. First so. I want to say... White album, guys. So I, I, I would like to think that, like, so you must have listened to uh, the G Talky thing by now, Gene. So last night. Okay, yeah. so you, you saw how we completely were just swept it under the rug. We were yeah. like, white album, more like butts. <laughs> Nobody's gonna care about that anime. <laughs> and lo and behold, you apparently. Do. Explain to me what grudge you hold against us to undermine us in every situation you can. I, I don't even think we need her to answer this because all White Album is is stupid high school drama bullshit that just happens to be taken into the real world with idols school and, days. School and days. so forth. And yes, it's exactly like school days, except without the death and the cheating and stuff. But same yeah. stupid <laughs> high school drama so Jean, bullshit. Explain okay. yourself, Gene. Explain, your, explain yourself if Tristan didn't already explain it okay. for you. Okay, so, well, basically Tristan did get it. It is school days, except that it took place in college, which is pretty cool. And it had uh, a little bit of the idol life and um, celebrity life mixed into it. And um, a little it was bit. basically my replacement for school days. And I really liked it because it was 25 episodes long. And I didn't even get that far. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. I got like maybe eight and I was like, no, I'm done. I know. I, I can see where this is going. You know what it reminds me of? I actually have of? a question, Gene. It's my question is like, when did it come out? Because I, I don't. I don't know. Oh god, recall. that came out a while ago, recent? like uh, 2007, I think 2007 yeah, a while ago. I, I'm not. I, I remember. <laughs> I remember Gene coming on like, like. Oh months my ago. god, 2007 or eight? That's insane. Yeah, I am double checking now. Holy yeah, it is shit! Old. So it's got that old school digital coloring. Yeah. Wait, Garnt, what were you saying? Oh. No, okay, no, no, I was wrong. It was 2009, but still. That's another, oh right, no. That was okay, so it fucking eons longer. ago. Yeah, so I it was just on Crunchyroll, so, so, so I was like, like eh, fuck it, let's just check it out. And then it was really boring at first, and you know what? It actually reminded me of uh, a tale of memories at first because it what? had that um. Listen, not what? not because of the story. Listen. <laughs> Oh, oh no. Uh, Tristan and Jean gonna yeah. fight again? Uh, hello, welcome back to Potaku, guys. Uh, it's been, it's... It only reminded me of this. Right, because... you... What is this? What have we become? I'm sitting here ringside with my best man, Garant, and we're here to judge the official sparring match. Uh, but no. 
No, but Gene. Uh, my- so hold hold on, this, hold on. This is a great grudge match we got going on here. Yeah, this um, this is. Uh, we there's got a lot of history between the, these the two. featherweight classes <laughs> and featherweight. I might win. Okay, so my my first question, Gene, actually is: um, you watched all the show, so yes. can you tell me, does it warrant a sequel in any way? Uh to be it, fair, it didn't need it. I'm, from what I'm gathering, uh, it's not technically a sequel because none of the main characters yeah. from season one are in the cast list for season two so i think it's just oh. in the same world probably written by the same guy as a continuation just with different characters but i'm still happy that we tossed it under the rug because because it's white album it's just going to be more stupid high school bullshit i'm still gonna watch it though <laughs> of course you fucking are gonna watch it you're gonna watch it no matter what and you're probably yeah. gonna love it you're gonna eat that shit up. I wonder how many episodes it will have. It's gotta have some kind of tie. Is it like that's the thing? It has to have some kind of tie to the what, first. But like, what? What kind of? What? Because it's yeah. drama, right? So what? What? What is it about the drama that draws you to it, Gene? It's just the fact that the guy is stupid and he just wants to go to any girl that will give him the attention or the time of day, uh, without letting go of his original girlfriend. <laughs> Same I concept. can relate. <laughs> Doesn't want to let go of his girlfriend, but doesn't get enough attention from her. What a yeah. faggot. <laughs> what my so life. So it's basically that that really got to me. <laughs> so, But it's also in college, which is a very yes, unique setting. Yeah, does- that there's very few anime that delve into higher education. And when they do, yeah. it's pretty good sometimes. sometimes. Well, from what I've seen. I mean, the show I, is... I can't vouch for all of higher education. The show is not in Shout depth. out to Love Hina, Tokyo U. Oh my god. What is that? That, that? That's the first one that definitely comes up to mind. Shout out to <gasps> shout outs. Oh Fucking he just shout outs to everything. Shout outs to- shout outs are but, um... my new thing, if that was not apparent. <laughs> but, um... So, why don't you? You're gonna we, watch it, sh- and you're going to like it, I assume. Probably. <laughs> because it's gonna that's... be another school day's... Some... I don't know. School day's look alike? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It'll be like it, Are they, except- like, similar to these k-dramas that you love to get into gene just out of curiosity because i don't give a shit about k-drama or i don't watch yeah, it so- and i don't have no idea uh, why you okay. like it but you keep liking these dramas that are just are shit. they are they comparable but- to k-dramas i think is what he's no. asking yeah the thing is oh, no? okay, <clears throat> i'm gonna no. tell you why i watch okay. k-dramas i watch k-dramas because of the lack of of um Satisfaction. K-drama is Korean drama, yes, by the way, Korean everyone. Drama. Just so you know. For those not in the know. <laughs> the lack of satisfaction that I get with romance animes, Korean dramas, they fill that hole for me. They satisfy me with romance. The romance element I get through K-dramas because I can't get them through anime. They satisfy her so much. You sound like such a girl. Just saying. <laughs> kind of helps that she is yeah. one. Yeah. Well, like, when I... I need my romance, okay? I know. That's what I was about to say. And we Thank all God she's know. not me. She needs she needs her shot of estrogen. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's what K-drama yeah. is. That's what it is. It is. She rolls up, and then she goes into this crunchy roll marathon, and it's just, yeah. oh, estrogen. Yeah, that's- <laughs> I feel so girly again, because I hang out with three, bar- three boys. I'm like a drug addict, and it's like, oh my God, there's too much testosterone. <laughs> what am I going to do? Oh no, this is a K-drama. Oh yeah. <laughs> and that's it. That's me. That's my cycle. <laughs> I deal with these sausages, and then it's like, fuck. <laughs> What's happening? What, what the fuck is the metaphor for then for romance if we're sausages? <laughs> <laughs> is it like I don't, don't donuts? Want to know? It's, or, or, it's <laughs> cuteness overload. That's what it is. Let's just put an orange. Let's just say Korean dramas are oranges. You have to peel back the fact of all the weird acting and get to the citrus that will burn you if you just brushed your teeth. <laughs> Okay. okay. That is K drama. All right. <laughs> that is K. Holden well, Remley for thank President. you Holden reviews. Thank you for just uh just completely summing up K drama for the world, Holden. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but there hasn't yeah. been any really so, good romance on animes. To so we've been... yes, yes. Okay. <clears throat> really? Okay. Okay. Let's get on to what okay. we've been watching. So, him. so uh, Tristan, shall we start yeah, with Tristan? Yeah. I have finished watching Free. <laughs> you are free now. 
How does it feel? Yes, I am free <laughs> from watching free. Until yes. how does But it, it's very <laughs> freeing. Next summer to have to have watched we will see free you next summer. and to have finished free. We will see you next water time. I'm actually excited for the next season if it it is indeed true and that uh, little still at the end of the final episode is anything to go by. I heard, it, I heard it got quite good at the end. It is. It is quite good. Uh, it's not just man service. It's not like Queen's you Blade for Girls. Here first. I've heard someone use that and I'm like, no. No. That's fucking awesome. Gene, shut the fuck no, up. like, <laughs> what this if, is so what awesome. If it was? That was weird. I'm not even going to lie right now. Like, this is probably one of the best moments ever hearing Tristan say that he likes free. <laughs> this is fucking. Amazing. Burn this into your yes. memory, guys. Burn See, this into your night. memory. <laughs> well, to be fair, one of the things that I like is good written stories, and Kyoto Animation knows what the fuck they're doing on that front. Now, other studios may take what Kyoto Animation has made popular and then totally shat on it, as with the whole Moe. outlashing of shows mm-hmm. similar to K-On!, mm-hmm. But K-On for what it was was good. Lucky Star for what it was is good. Free for what it is is good. Yeah. And what is it? Because I stopped at episode four. It got good after five, episode like four. That. That's the thing. <laughs> God it's a damn high, it. Well, it's a high school sports <laughs> anime. God damn it's a it, high school damn sports it. anime. <laughs> That's what it is. All it is, high school sports. I dropped Attack on Titan before episode f- on episode four. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. God damn it. I dropped Cowboy Bebop on episode four. God damn it. <laughs> what? No, it, it's just, uh, it seems like five is a reoccurring number with yeah, plot being activated. Right. Yeah. How do we get to episode five with free? I must have missed that. Maybe someone was she said I that. I said that. Because Garant dropped it on episode four. and he, She said it gets good at five. Yep. Oh. And we're talking about all the anime that got good at five. I can't even remember what happens on an episode by episode basis. I just enjoyed watching Shin- it because, like, everybody, I know everybody, like, really got turned off of it with the amount of uh, man service in episode one, but that got toned down a shit ton after that. Yeah. Really? Because I think it was episode four, the one where they were introducing the glasses, char- the glasses character to the yeah, right. team right. or whatever. Yeah. And it was just glorious crotch shots and ass shots. Oh, yeah, and yeah, yeah. You yeah. fucking okay. it, it uh, mankini kind of thing. After that, it got good. <laughs> Did you see him in the butterfly outfit? So of awesome. course. Yes. We even edited a picture yeah, of was... Garant on that saying, I'm fabulous, <laughs> bitch. No, was that Ray or was that... Uh... Shout out to fan art. No, no there, that was Ray. There, Ray was the one. butterfly guy. Okay. It wasn't the guy from Buso Rankin. There is one that exists and I'm sure no I one have it up now. I have it still. <laughs> I collect all the fan art. If you have fan art, be sure to send it my way. I love it all, dude. It's so, so good. I love seeing it. Uh, just saying, all the artists. Just saying, Ray is the man of we, my life. We do love it. <laughs> I haven't finished free yet, though. I'm on episode eight, I think, but I will finish it. No, but it ends well. Hmm. It, it ends. It actually ended quite well. I'm quite happy with it. It's a very satisfying ending, unlike other things. Yeah. Unlike other things that have uh, might have come out recently. <laughs> I don't know. Meaning. I don't know. What, may, I don't know, what because... might you be talking about, Tristan? Um, I, <laughs> I'm talking Rose and Maiden. I'm talking about Rose and Maiden. <laughs> that's that's that, Maiden. that must be it. That must be what I'm talking about. <laughs> yep. Yep. Because yes. that is totally the Rose and Maiden, season. and not something else. <laughs> yes. Though to be perfectly honest, Rose and Maiden did kind of have a shit ending that as well. Rhymes with Schmachmon Schmeiten. <laughs> That's another thing that I have been watching, which was Rose and Maiden. And that- Attack on Iraqi. <laughs> God damn it, Holden. <sighs> okay, so I'm sure if you're listening to this, you've heard the Jay Taku cast that uh, me and Holden have been in. But I'm sure you guys would like to hear Tristan and Jean's opinion on the not so popular Attack on Titan that has just finished. Oh, God. So, because they've already heard our opinions, Tristan, Jean, what did you think about Attack on Titan yeah. as a whole, okay. without spoiling? Okay, okay. Without spoiling. As a whole, the entire show is fucking amazing, but it is totally unsatisfying at the end. And yes. But to be fair, is. I am glad that they ended it the way they did. Because I know that if they tried to contrive everything together and make a nice little bow out of it, um, just for the sake of having a somewhat consistent ending, that would have been terrible. And I'm very glad that they didn't do that. 
uh, but it does it it does leave something to be desired until the moment that uh, another season gets greenlit, which. As we are sitting here, maybe by the time this episode comes out, it'll be it's different. Out. Maybe it is. But as we are maybe sitting here recording it, it that Still green light not. has not happened. So No, it has not. That's very depressing. When it does, then awesome. But until then, fuck that ending. <laughs> There's my thoughts quickly in a nutshell. Um, Gene, without much think? detail. What about you, Gene? I was I would uh sort of agree with Tristan. Um I really did a like a like a Blah, 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 blah. I can't talk. <laughs> I really did enjoy Attack on Titan, um, except the fact that I just felt like the pacing of it could have been right. better. I just didn't like. Yeah, this. the pacing was a bit weird. Like the first five episodes were just like, "Here's three years, <laughs> go." Yeah. Here, here's three years, go. It's like we, we don't get a break, and, and then suddenly like... the next eight episodes take place in like a four-hour period. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yep. it's Escape from the like, City. That is I the name of the game. I think when I finished yeah. episode 23, and it was like, oh, look, the day is over, and look how many people have died. I'm like, what? It's only been a fucking day? <laughs> wait, wait, they were yeah. on horseback for fucking yeah. hours and hours, and they come back in a yeah, fucking what the fuck? day? It's pr- the body count gets pretty crazy. It was fucking real time <laughs> anime, is what it was. It was fucking because like, yeah, eighteen I thought it was hours like months months yeah. equated to actual eighteen hours. I thought, I thought they were riding out for like weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks, and it was just like a fucking day. And I was just like, "What the fuck is?" I going mean, like, on? I That's guess because it, it just felt sense. like weeks and weeks and weeks. Because if you watch it on a yeah. week by week basis, because we've been watching it for fucking weeks and weeks, and yeah. Weeks. And then it's like a fucking day. I just, I, <laughs> I was jaw dropped. I was like, it's amazing how they go through it so quickly in the beginning and then drag it out so much. I understand why they did it. Well, I guess it made more sense for me because I marathoned the whole thing in basically a right. day. I went from episode five till episode... Right. Okay. Um, How was it marathoning it, Tristan? That, I, I want to hear this right. experience. How was it marathoning Titan? Because I didn't get to do that. I am fucking glad I marathoned it. Like, I'm still disappointed in the bullshit I had to deal with while not watching it. Yeah. But just yeah, marathoning yeah. it was immensely satisfying because... There's like, like, with the exception of having to skip over the opening and the ending every time, and you know the little recap at the beginning that says, "Humanity is in trouble." The Titan, yeah, yeah fuck that part. <laughs> Besides that, it was basically like not there was no breaks, and it was just one big fucking long movie, and that was brilliant. I bet. Yeah, it probably felt really, really. My man, Tetsuro Rocky. And, and and there were like a bunch of moments I was sitting there like eating whatever the hell I was eating at the time, just watching it and being like, oh my god, if it ended here and I couldn't just get yeah. next episode, I would, I would take this rock that's somehow in my house that's not actually there and I would throw it through a, a wall or something, just to pent off frustration. It's funny because I would argue that the biggest cliffhanger was at episode five, the when you previously no no it was that it, was that was work. probably the biggest cliffhanger in the entire show and that's where that's why i was like no fuck it i'm done i'm done yeah um but there were a lot of minor yeah. cliffhangers that i was just like oh my god i need to know what it's going on right now and yeah if i didn't have that wonderful option of hitting next and going in the next episode i would probably want to kill something yeah here's 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 an interesting question i got for all of us now let's hit um it. you okay do you think Attack on Titan lives up to its hype? Yes. I mean, I absolutely do. I think it I does don't live know up if it, it lives. I, okay. I think we all agree that it's good, yeah. right? We we all like Here's it. Here's the thing, but like the hype for it is just fucking. Here's mental. the thing. Like if if we were talking about this back around the time where I stopped it, like episode four or five. I would have agreed with you. I would like to point out that was fucking April, I think. Yeah, it like, was. Let's just let's just put that in perspective. <laughs> that was, that was that fucking was Attack on Shit podcast. Yep. Go back to episode seventeen. <laughs> yeah, Holy something shit. like that. That was a long time ago. I was like eighteen when it came out. But back then, I would the hype that the show was at at that time. I would say it's lived up to. But because I just you can't measure the hype that it's at right now. So I don't. I'd probably say yes, it has. But I would be tentative with that uh statement because hmm. the hype th- there's nothing to compare it to nothing has got this much hype sword art online did not have the fucking hype that this show has 
did not. No, yes, it, it did. No. I would actually... No, it didn't. I don't know. No, it didn't. In the beginning, no, it yes, didn't. it did. No, it didn't. I think it's funny because it I didn't. think shows with similar amounts no, no, of hype were also by Tetsuro Araki. Namely, Death Note oh, when it came out. Fuck Tetsuro Araki. Because that was... Yes, Death Note was definitely hype. Yeah, it was. I think it was, um, I think but... it was more hype than this only because everyone knew about it already. Yeah. And fucking also Tetsuro Araki. <laughs> um, but when it came out, it was just fucking took it everything in the fucking community and everyone was watching it. It's the only anime since then that I feel like not only have people, everyone has watched, but the majority of people have liked. Yeah. I mean, a thing about Sword Art Online, Gene, was that I would say that it started on a similar hype level right. as Titan, but the thing about Sword Art Online is it just, it just kind of went down as it got shittier and mm -hmm. shittier. But with Titan, it just kept rising and rising and rising and rising, and it just never stopped right until the end. It Titan is an emotional roller coaster that only goes up. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I, I have no problem it's with that. the best part of the roller coaster. I mean, I guess I would agree with you. Yeah. Now that Garn puts it that way, I would agree with you, but at the same time, I think. Having Titan have so much hype is better than hearing about the big three over and over and over it's again. It's true. Well, the other thing, the difference... I know the majority oh, oh, of oh, anime oh, oh, viewers... Are we, are we, are we, are we, no, 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 we're, no, not, we're not touching this. it. Are we going there? Are we're we going there, Gene? No. Are we going there? The difference there? between Titan no, and the big three is that Titan is now over. If Titan yes. didn't end, I would not be able to stand it because the fan base would just not fucking shut up. Really? Okay, well, if... Okay, say... It, because, like, Ted, uh, I mean, the manga uh, confirmed that it's going to be 20 volumes. Well, How many he's are trying they at right for now? 20. How many are they at? They're at 11. Volumes. 11. And we're, we're at 11 now. How far did the anime go in volume length? The a Seven, anime six. didn't actually go that far, to be honest. Really? How, no. How far? We're, yeah, how far? Uh, fucking... Give an estimate. Four, five? Eight. Eight? Eight, eight, eight maybe. volumes. If, okay. Eight five, I don't volumes. know. Somewhere in that range, so, so, I don't remember exactly. So if we estimate, if the if we estimate it to be to for Titans to be animated fully, yeah. Kristen, it would be around a hundred episodes, sev 70, 70, 60, episodes, I, I Yeah. Reckon. So basically, 70. it'd be as the, about the length of Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. About which 64. was seven? No, no it but was that, seventy two. That was, wasn't it? That was twenty. It was sixty four episodes, uh, and it was released in oh nine. But sure? the I could have sworn it was, was in seventies. Let me check. Hold on. I can no, check. it's sixty. Sixty four. Sixty four. Because but it, Tristan, what's like what's it's what 50, is your it's fifty episodes, episode which rate. was it's fifty. Okay, yeah, you're right. It's sixty four. But then you plus myself. another fourteen, so it becomes a fifth season. So it ran for five seasons technically. Like it ran for oh, five. Uh, yeah, five seasons. Let me actually like hold charts. Let me actually uh, move well, no, to a different Tristan, discussion Tristan, that I want to get at to. Yeah. Or do you want to talk yeah. first, Garnt? No. Okay. I, I wanted to talk like. What is your, like, acceptable range for something to, uh, finish? You know what I mean? Like, what do you mean? Like, what, what is your acceptable... My acceptable... Acceptable episode, like... Like, acceptable amount of like, episodes? How long... Acceptable amount of episodes before you say, this is not Watching. worth going through this so, much. So, like, it. if a show is done, let's say, and if it was with yeah. a certain amount of episodes, my limit is probably somewhere... Um, in the 70s, with a few exceptions. Like, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, I would have no problem, like, sitting down and going through that. Um, it's an investment of time to go through something that long, but I have no problem with doing it. I would not go and do something like One Piece. No way. No fucking way. Not happening at all. I'm not going through that shit. Um, but there might be an exception to the 70s, like, I would go through, or rather, I have been going through... Um, Legend of the Galactic Heroes. I know you were going to talk about Gingen. I had uh, no we're not going to get mind. into that. We'll save that for another day. But amazing, there is, that's like the only exception above like seventy episodes. Because at a point, it's just getting dragged on. It's very hard for a story to actually be very good past that. And sometimes, a lot of the time that I've seen, a lot of stories don't even be that good at twenty four, twenty six. They just aren't. It's just not. It, okay, it's the, ironic the, the because thing, the thing that, <clears throat> I've been watching so much long series as well. The, the thing that I find interesting, because I've been watching this really weird anime recently, um, it's called Breaking Bad. You know, it's a... It's a, it's a <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's really good. <laughs> you know, it, it's, it's got some of this really weird animation that looks really yeah, weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's okay, got that okay. fucking Akinohana but, rotoscoping and shit. Yeah. Your point. What's your point? Yeah. My, my point is that it's, uh, it's five seasons yeah. long and uh, episodes like near an yeah. hour. And if we if if we translate into that into anime episodes, you just divide it by two. It I mean, be, times it by two. It would be long as shit. Yeah, it would be just 
long as shit. Is, I, you know what I mean? It's almost. I, I just the thing is, I don't actually know that many anime that have that kind of thriller esque writing styles that are like prevalent in things no, like Breaking Bad, the thing Game is, of Thrones, it's so, so, it's Galactica. It's so slow place. Yes. It's so, so slow paced compared to anime because anime in an episode, because it's 20 minutes, you have to like have a beginning, a middle and an yeah. end within that yeah. one episode. So, but with Breaking Bad, it, I think it just depends on the mindset. It's not actually how long something is, yeah. but it's just like how much you're willing, like if an episode well, per episode basis is can hook you every time well i i think also because of the different episode lengths things are written differently because as you said like anime has to be written in basically a 20 minute period that has to have time for an opening and ending but also just 20 minutes where you have to have a start a middle and a finish because these episodes are not cheap to make and then you look at things like breaking bad it has 45 minutes where that's a lot more time where it can just spread things out it it raises a really interesting question that i've been thinking about recently um with my fixation with Gundam, specifically uh, the Unicorn series, and each episode is about an hour long. They take a long time to release, mm-hmm. uh, kind of like the Fate Zero first episode. Uh, my question then is, if they increased the limit on an episode to 45, how much do you think that would affect the overall pacing and feel of of an anime if they didn't have to have the, that break at all. Well, that actually depends I mean, on who's fucking writing it, of course, but... Um, yeah, but I mean, like, just yeah. in, in general, like, what if you took your favorite animes and they were just morphed a little bit? Like, how do you think that would affect it? Just just, just a hypothetical Cause question. Because, like, like, I think the reason Attack on Titan is held so high is because it's so... Well, most of the time it's really fast-paced. Mm-hmm. As in, there's a cliffhanger every episode. No, I mean, yeah, there is. Normally, normally a good... It's not like... You, sometimes you have these really shitty cliffhangers. No. Shout out to Lost. Uh, that, you know, anime tries. And I'm just like... Bleh. It's like, yeah, I know you tried, but I'm really not interested. But with Attack on Titan, it constantly left cliffhangers at the end of every, every episode. Yeah, and they're, like, timed but, perfectly well. It's just like, yeah. it ended, and then they're like, wow, that was actually a good cliffhanger. Like, a good cliffhanger in that I'm, like, fucking going to kill someone because they just fucking cliffhang it like that. But it was a good but, cliffhanger yes. from a writing perspective. Yeah. And- Araki Ar- does a very Western style of anime, I would say. I mean, like, if you look at all of his works like Death Note and High School of the Dead and everything, they feel very Western in pacing and with their whole ending cliffhanger things. Because I can't find many animes that have consistent things like that. Um, there's some... Like Code Geass, but even that's not all the time. Sometimes it's just just Lelouch laughing at a camera, being like, I, "Look I at me, I'm God Coon." What's up? I have a question for you, Holden. <laughs> What's up? Um, getting to Tetsuro Araki for a moment. How does Attack on Titan compare to episodes five and six of Aoi Bengaku? So he of which he directed. No, he did actually one through four, which is no longer human. Um, you sure? Yes. Because according to what I'm looking at, he's did five and six. He did five and six as well. That's interesting. No, no, he just which, did where, five which, and six. Which one's five and six? Which one's five and six? Is that, that, story is that. Is that a- the one directly after one through four? Well, <laughs> no shit. <laughs> no shit. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Captain Obvious. Uh, <laughs> my job. Oh my god. <laughs> All right. Um. <laughs> Yeah, this is you holding because I don't actually remember what arc that was. I think th- the thing is, um, this that arc I'm pretty sure was Kokoro, and if not, th- it's probably forgettable. If that's the case, because according thing- to yeah. ANN, episodes five and six are known as the Sakura no Mori. Okay, arc. that's what the oh fuck? that, that arc, yeah. This is so fucked up. I don't even. <laughs> How? I believe it, but it that's a, it so weird. It was a pretty weird. shit art. It was. A, it it's was pretty, a pretty weird. Um, yeah, yeah, I was. It, it's because the thing is, since the original one, I think the reason I I made the confusion is because the original character designs. Yeah, for the first hour in Bangaku. Uh, for, for the first one is by is by Takashi Obata, which um, totally which, screams Death Note. So you which just was Death Note, which is what he directed. I didn't think that he... Because the second one was the one by Tite Kubo as the art. And then... But then I think it was Kokoro. Then it was Run Melos. Then it was the Spider one. Great series. Go watch Aoi Bengaku. But Go watch Aoi Bengaku. It's not that good, but I think what's more comparable 
is probably Death Note. Because mm-hmm. the thing is, is Death Note is kind of, again, one of those things, like we said earlier, where it really took the entire community by storm. Mm-hmm. Um, it did. It, to this day, is probably, I would say, in, like, the top ten most popular anime out there. Do you think that lived up to its hype? Yes, I do. I feel like it did, and it was done really degree. well. But I'd like to also point well, out, here's the thing. Here's the my argument. Half. Okay, ready? No, no. I like, here's, that's the beauty of it. Ready? Oh, okay. 25 episodes of Death Note, I think, might be yeah. better than 25 episodes of Attack on Titan. Because the, yeah, oh, oh no, I was going to say, I think, I still think Death Note. The 25th episode of Death Note is when the major shift happens. Um, yeah. <laughs> Whenever some of the alphabet gets eliminated, um, <laughs> yeah, but yeah, we get that. we've spoiled Death Note so many times. I know, but it's uh, fine. if you're a particularly smart and you don't know but this, no, then... don't, no, no, just, just don't, just okay. Let me, let me think about this because right. with that said, I if you compare the first 25 episodes of Death Note to the first 25 episodes of Attack on Titan, I don't know which one I would choose. Mm-hmm. I almost think I would choose Ooh. Death Note because. It's a little better, I feel I would choose, like. <laughs> I, I, I would choose Death Note because I well, thought episode 25 is more conclusive. I think Death Note was better paced. Death Note was, oh, it was, definitely was be- much better definitely paced. Better it, paced. Was, it was really exciting, I feel like. That's the major thing. And I liked the art a lot more. Uh, the animation is a bit dated, but that's to be expected. Mm. But just overall, I think it's interesting because Tetsuo Araki to this day, has yet to do, like, a second season of, like, anything. Uh, no, he doesn't. He hasn't. Bec- and it, he hasn't. And yet. so, with that said... You know what I think, if though? He ever, if he did do Attack on Titan Season 2, hypothetically, it would be great, right? But since he hasn't, yeah. if they had to subtract him from the roster to make Season 2, I don't think it would be as good. I think yeah. he's so prevalent well, in styling and everything. He would. He definitely wouldn't. Well, Gene, Gene, what were you going to say? Gene, what were you going to well, say? Well, I want to say one thing. Go for it. I, I would agree that 25 episodes of Death Note was better than 25 episodes of Attack on Titan. But I also think there is one major reason why we would feel that way. And, well, personally for me, it would be because I like the psychological thriller genre more than anything. And I think that Death Note wasn't Death Note one of the first psychological thrillers to really come out. Uh, no, no. Uh, <laughs> depends on when it came out in relation to Monster. Because I mean, it came out in two thousand six right. to two thousand seven. Yeah. Okay. Um. So you know, not it's not that. I like, I still think overall grandfather though, mode. I think more psychological thrillers are more entertaining to us as an audience. More. Yeah. Than- I mean, it, it makes sense. But even from a critic perspective... Yeah, I mean, d- d- Attack on Titan is definitely more action-packed. Yeah, yeah. but you know. from a critic perspective, I still think I would give the first 25 episode edge to Death Note. If not only because it ends at the perfect point. No, I think Death Note's better written than Attack on Titan just in general. Yeah, I do but Attack on Titan I definitely is, do. is more like the... It's is, more of a show. It's like the Hollywood factor. Yeah. yeah it's got the, do you know what would be hilarious? What? What? If uh, after all this time when Tetsuo Araki hasn't done a second season, they just announced that he's going to continue High School of the Dead again. I really <laughs> wish that was the case, dude. That'd be so good. <laughs> well, Part of me wishes uh, for according that to more. this thing that was posted um, earlier today, um, when they screened like... the final episode of Attack on Titan, there was a live event that included yes, there was. Mr. Tetsuo Araki, the producer, the animation producer, the manga editor, and three of the voice actors. And as much they, as they want to do um, it, it see. wasn't greenlit. They... Yeah. After the episode was screened, staff and cast all implied their intentions and desire to continue the anime in the future. However, there has been no green light given as of yet. It's almost like High School of the Dead again. Like, you want more Attack on Titan? Too bad, you get tits now. <laughs> <laughs> What's amazing is that High School of the Dead is another one of those things where it was so, it was so Hollywood. It, it was so like... I still need to watch High School of the Dead. Fucking action and tits and everything. And I would love to see more of it, because uh, it ended where I think my favorite part in the manga is, which is the mall arc. But the thing about Attack on Titan that I think is really interesting is, I don't think that they should do it until it's done. For instance, they waited for Full Metal Alchemist to be done before they made Brotherhood. 
Correct. And so... Or rather, they did Brotherhood because... Because the, the manga was ending, yeah. They were in direct cohorts with uh, Hiroma Arakawa. And she was like, this is going to end here, we predict. Mm -hmm. You can make the anime now, and I'll give you this. Because what was amazing is that the manga and the anime ended re really close proximity to each other, as far as the timetables go. Mm -hmm. um, which is f really amazing, considering it was running for like a, over a decade, I'm pretty sure. But the question then is with Attack on Titan, with it, the author's desire to make it at least 20 volumes or end at 20 volumes, if he's a man of his word, then we have to assume that if they've gotten as far as they have with this, with the source material that they have now, how long will it take for him to finish it? And how long will it take to adapt that source material? Yeah, I mean... Well, the other thing is, is like when you when you push it out, a certain length then more and more people start to forget the original which is probably one of the reasons why brotherhood did what it did and it reanimated a lot of what um the first season in 2003 yeah, I mean, had already a lot done. of shonens like to do that i mean uh, hunter x hunter recently had a remake yes it yeah. just started all the way from the beginning okay but let's but, say uh, that the manga for attack on titan wasn't finished for another five to eight ten years okay and nearing the end of that they decided hey let's adapt the rest of this i would actually still hope that they pick up where they left off with this series rather than starting over from episode one yeah i would hope that too i mean because i would be bored as shit I waiting think, for those arcs to go through i think what's really interesting about that whole that whole decade in the future is not only will i be a dad i think but <laughs> what's even more interesting to me is not the for the fact of my offspring but actually the fact of where will animation be in a decade? Oh. Relation to now. I've, I've, I've actually got an interesting question as well. Okay, what's up, mate? Now that okay. you mentioned that, Holden, um, do you guys still think you'll be watching anime in 10 years' time? Yep. Yes. I, no question. Do, yeah. Next question, please. <laughs> like, what, what do you <laughs> think, Garen? Do you, do you honestly think you won't be? I honestly, well, I definitely won't be watching as much. Yes. Okay, that's fine. But the, well, here, maybe not as much. Thing, but, yeah, granted, here's, but... No, here's the thing, though. Like, I'm 24 now. I mean, 23. Jesus Christ, <laughs> you're I'm, I'm, That's how I'm, my memory's going, guys. Like, yeah, the dinosaurs. <laughs> but, like, I already noticed at my age that there's just getting less and less anime that, like, are targeted towards me or, like, I personally am really interested in. Yeah, you know I, mean. I think that the big disconnect for me was fucking, I got older than the uh, high school students. I got out of high school. And <laughs> yeah, it just yeah. started, it's, it's just started getting more and more distant from that point on. It was, yeah. it was just, hey, that's, it, it was, hey, I can't wait to be in high school. Hey, this is just like me. I'm in high school. Hey, that used to be like me when I was in high school. <laughs> and then it's going to be, hey, I have kids that are in high school. <laughs> Like, where does it stop, <laughs> you know? Yeah, because it always has to go back to high school. Where your, your love for anime will always have to go back to high school. It, it always, I mean? because that's because, where it blossoms. That's where it's in full effect. Exactly. So I'm just like, okay, I, I still love anime now, but yeah. I'm slowly, like, I would I would use the term growing out of it, because I really am. It's not because I, I'm, I'm, t I'm too good for anime now. That's for children. Yeah, and here, fuck you, girl. Like, <laughs> yeah, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> fuck Chinese cartoons. <laughs> <laughs> fuck Koreans cartoons and Chinese cartoons no <laughs> shout out but, to um, Korean cartoons shout out to Grumpy Jisan <laughs> that is no actually yeah yeah I agree right with that there. shout out to Grumpy Jisan that is the dream right there that is living the dream right there was like fucking fuck walking in the I desert just... to fucking watch anime I guess oh, um, I would agree with Garnt but I think more of what you're saying, Gar, is you're looking, you're targeting more of the mature shows more than just watching mm -hmm. anything that's out there. Mature. Like, what I'm doing is I'm so, looking you, for you to... uh, more of uh, like a positive response from other viewers before I try something out, unless something okay. piques my interest on my own. What I think will end up happening, maybe with all of us, or at least probably just me, is that I won't. Like, maybe 10 years from now, I won't be doing anime, like, the same way Alan, let's say, watches he, his anime. He watches fucking everything. Yeah. But I still know that I will watch the Ghost in the Shells, the Monsters, the Black right. Lagoons, those things that come out. I will right. watch those. The Paramount series. Yeah. But... I think that I might not watch more. I might not watch like the Kaons, the Hadahis. Right, the Moe Blob. But it raises such an interesting yeah. question of, like... If they're catering to our fan base, 
what the hell is going to happen in 10 years? When that fan base grows up. Because it grows up. Because the thing is, I, I can... I feel fairly confident saying, by producing the series that they are now, they are mm-hmm. not drawing in a younger audience, I feel like. They're not... Well, another thing funny, that you could... Because you're talking about American audiences. Yes. Whereas in Japan, the fucking Mo Blobs... They're not. They're, it's like the otaku community there is growing up, and it, it is an aging population over there. Yes, but if, the thing is, because they have such a dedicated older yeah. uh, fan base, that's why. That's why, even though it might be quite small, that's why they can still make money because shit is shit is expensive over mm-hmm. there. Because yeah, yeah, they they aim for like the fucking white collars and shit, and mm-hmm. <laughs> because yeah, it's that whole Fate Zero conundrum where it's we're gonna sell the box set for three hundred and seventy five dollars. We know we're going to get like 100% less sales than we normally would, but that that fucking 0% that does buy it <laughs> will make up for it. And then and then someone raised their hand and said, "Sir, 0% is nothing." And he said, "Shut up." <laughs> <laughs> and that's Aniplex. Shout out to Aniplex. Oh. Shout out to Aniplex. <laughs> We are the. But no, I, I really wonder because then it, you, it also raises the question about Western influence in anime in the next decade. Where mm-hmm. will we become a market that will consume? Will they be making anime to cater to us because we are a consumer that they see as profitable? Uh, for, well, for instance, like streaming lucky, sites and everything. Like, what the fuck's gonna happen? If we're lucky, it might turn out sort of how like the video game industry has been turning out. Because oh, yeah. right. if you look yeah. at the video game in demographic, people started with Nintendo. You start with Nintendo, and you have you're you're like young kids. You're playing with Mario and Link and all that shit. And now you're growing up and you're playing Grand Theft Auto Five. Yeah, so pretty much it has kind of moved in that way now because um, anime is made in Japan and it's a kind of different universe over there. And it might be different, and it might not work the same way. But well, what, if we're lucky, what if, it could. I mean, hypothetically, yeah. like, what what about if we go to comic book direction? Whereas okay. Hollywood starts adapting, they run out of comics to adapt, and then they see this, like, they, they, they start looking for other shit. And then they, because we, we saw Pacific Rim, we saw how awesome that was. Yeah. yeah. And then they're doing, they're doing Death Note as well. Yeah. And probably Maybe. Macross. And possibly Macross or Robotech. And they want to so fucking remake Old Boy. Like, completely unrelated, and then, but still angry. Yeah. I don't think any of that's it's actually going to happen. Still Korean. Still Korean. I know. But, um, but they start making Hollywood movies of manga or anime adaptations. Sure. How do you think that would affect the market? Would that, like, do you think that would make it's so Japanese It's so interesting. Towards the West? Because. Well, I look at that and I actually don't think it's going to happen because if you look at, like, Pacific Rim. Pacific Rim made its money in the international field. On U.S. soil alone, it bombed. Which is what's interesting. Yeah. Which, depressing. But from an international standpoint, Pacific Rim was the highest grossing film that was based on an original property. That's amazing. And live action <laughs> as well. It was the highest grossing live action original property film. Because the only other things that matched it this past year from original film were something like The Crudes, but that was animation. Um, and everything else that beat it was either sequels or adaptations of... I can't even... E- I can't, but here's the thing, Tristan. Like, thinking now, I can't even think of any original stuff that I've seen in the cinemas this year, apart from Pacific Rim. Yeah, it's usually adaptations. <laughs> to be yeah. fair, next... Um, yeah. Gravity, which just came out, fucking... I think the last time I actually amazing. watched something that was quote-unquote original... Um, no, you can't even consider that. A- well, it was like going way back in the day with Wreck It Ralph. I think was the last thing I actually saw that was original, and that was last year sometime. Yeah, that was pretty while ago. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. I- yeah. Yeah. It's 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 weird though. It's really <laughs> sorry, Gene. Sorry. So uh, let's go to what I've been watching. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> oh, have we not even oh, gotten are there? We, yet? Are we still doing this? I completely forgot. Okay, Brilliant. Gene. Ah, oh, but it was such a riveting conversation. <laughs> have you? Have you, is that why you've been silent? You've just been like, okay, they're gonna stop talking any second, and I can just tell them what I've been watching. Any second, we might continue. We might continue this another time, but yeah, very interesting. But Gene, hopefully, what's senpais up? notice yeah. me. We, we, we might make we might make a Jay Tucker in this. This is a good Jay. Yeah, it's Tucker a really interesting thing. idea. But Gene, what, what are you gonna yeah. say? Okay, but Gene, what uh, have you been? So watching? you what's guys up? heard of the anime film Colorful? Get out. <laughs> <laughs> why? <laughs> 
because you're so late to the party. It's kind of like yeah. Well, I just watched <laughs> it recently, and I what did you think? I really enjoyed it. The thing is, it wasn't really an. Ins- it wasn't a feel good movie. It, that's yeah, for sure. it wasn't a feel good movie, and <laughs> it wasn't an inspiring movie either. But no. I understood it. Like it was very, it was very mellow and understanding. Like basically, you guys know I the mean, premise of the story, yeah. right? No, explain it to the audience, okay. though. No, ex- so explain it to I'll the give audience. give you guys a quick little synopsis of the story. Okay, so I'm the audience. I have no idea what the fuck you're talking okay. about. So explain to me, Gene. I'll, so I'll be the audience. Basically, Sorry, this guys. movie's about a soul that enters another body of a boy who has committed suicide. And he is giving the body right. and the soul a second chance at life. Now, the soul has to figure out why the boy committed suicide. And the soul also has to figure out what he did wrong in his past life. To make everything right. And um, basically it just rolls off of that with a boy not knowing anything at all and trying to figure life out. And yes. I liked that idea of the story. And it kind of just made me feel like, like if you're depressed and you want to end your life and you hate yourself, you should try to... Yeah, watch out. Yeah, <laughs> no, <laughs> it's it's basically teaching you that like if you hate yourself, you can change yourself. You can change your life. You don't have to live the way that you are. And it was nice, but it just wasn't executed right. I feel like I I think that the biggest thing with colorful is that colorful. It's not so colorful. Was one of, was one of those movies that I really liked. I was away for that pun to be said. I was like, but the thing I'm is, surprised derp, it wasn't derp. Holden. <laughs> yeah. No, I didn't. I didn't want to comment <laughs> on how colorful the characters were. But anyway, continue. What, what what I'm what I'm basically getting at is, I think the series would have benefited from being either split into two films or just turned into like a fucking I don't even know, like a six episode OVA series. Ooh, why do you say that? I felt like they touched base on a lot of things, but you don't really... I feel like I wanted to feel more of what his daily life was and what he wanted to leave so badly. Yeah, okay, um, I can see that. Because it, it almost empty. seems like he was being melodramatic. Yeah. It was like, you're killing yourself over this? What a faggot. Like, like this. it, it, was, it was one of those things where it was... You could, I couldn't sympathize enough with him initially... But I feel like if they would have dragged it on and felt made it feel like you were drag- being dragged along through the same experiences, right. the sympathy- if you could have sympathized and had this empathetic viewpoint with him, right. it would have been so interesting because I feel like it's one of those films that's really, it's really good. I, it's one of those things that makes, it reminds me a lot of Karno Kyokai in the way it made me feel. But not as good. Right. Um, I can understand where you're coming from, but at the same time, I don't think it was necessary for that. Only because no, I don't think it was. We as humans all know what it's like, so you're able to put your experiences in your life with that character, and that's why I got the lesson that I was learned from this movie, and that's why yes, it wasn't as good or as inspiring because of what you've said but at the same time it really didn't need it and i think that's why they were like fuck it (laughs) don't have to do it make it a quick little movie and that was that so i would really like to read the source material that's something i really want to do Hmm. that would be awesome even the even the script would be really fun to read because i think that it was it was well done but i would like to see at like its where core, you could, yeah. What it was, what it was meant to right. be, or intentionally. Yeah. What caused you to fucking watch Colorful though? That's really rare. Not many people watch Colorful. I don't know. I was just in a film mood. I didn't feel like watching an episode. Well, there's not many anime films. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah. We, we we've been we've had this topic. There's not many yeah. anime yeah. films out there. There's just the sure as hell is not. So there was Colorful, and I was like, mm, why not? Hey, Greg Aries, what's going on? <laughs> Oh, you're so- <laughs> you- Shout out to Greg Aries. I would have sh- I would have committed suicide if I watched the English dub. Yeah. Oh I my did god. Maggie Springfield not whining about killing himself. <laughs> oh. All right, guys. Uh, suicide <laughs> oh is not god. cool. All right. I just want to let you guys know as the no, audience. It's not cool. um, it's not cool. Yeah. There is the uh, Pataku suicide hotline, and um, you can contact us at any time. Don't contact Holden because he might make you want to kill yourself. But yeah, it's not cool. All right. Yeah. 
Contact me. I'll Real tell talk. you. I'll tell you to watch Baron and Kyoko. <laughs> yeah. I will and, uh, I'll be like, watch End of Ava. Do you get it yet? Watch it again. <laughs> watch it six times, like Jimmy. <laughs> it's, it's like watch End of Ava. Do you understand no, it? What? You're fine. You're not suicidal. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> like, good. Here's a yeah. question. What's up? If you knew that showing a single anime would stop a person from committing suicide, what anime would that be? What is the most feel-good fucking anime you can think of? That would make someone stop themselves. Let me look at my list real quick. Well, feel good is like I gotta look at sorry? my list. Subjective. Yeah, it is. Well, I would, I would, I would like for me personally, I would like recommend any like something like Summer Wars or something like that because that was a big feel good for me. In terms of anime series, my one of my favorite feel good anime was Great Teen Great Teen yeah. Shizuka. Yeah. Brilliant. yeah, that was like whenever I want to feel good. Like I never came out of that show without a smile. I think the and... show that I would recommend is either probably Erica 7 or the Arya series, not Arya Road. Right. I thought not. I was surprised you didn't say Arya first. If you didn't say Arya, I was like... Yeah, oh, fucking that's, that's Arya, that's uh, the animation or the natural or even the origination. <clears throat> uh, all of which should stop you from committing a foul that will last you for the rest of your life. Shout out to Arya. Shout out to Arya and water, more importantly. All right, so what about you, Arya's Tristan? like a calm version of free, is what it felt like. Tristan, what about you? Yeah, what about you, mate? Hmm. I don't know if I could actually give one. Yeah. You'd be like, do it! Like, you, anything... you just must, well, the thing you just is, must know feel the Most of the ones that I know of, okay, not including the, the ones you guys have already said, sure. is most of the feel-good anime that I know of are really feel-good because they have these moments of high, but then they have these moments of despair to make up for it. And almost make the highs higher, if that makes any if, sense. Well, yeah, it's contrast. How much weed are you smoking? <laughs> yeah. Sorry. <laughs> hmm. but it's, He's smoking some uh, fucking Escaflone. Uh, which, yeah, which anime would it be? <laughs> which, anime, which anime are you talking about? Because I'm actually confused as to what you are talking about. Uh, well, I'm mainly talking about things like uh, Clan Out and Anohana, yeah. but I might suggest something like Sound of the Sky. Oh, no, Anohana. Everyone says Anohana's sad. I disagree no, with them. I do too. Like, yeah, because it's like, the the thing about Anohana is that for me, it wasn't sad. It was just really emotional. Do you know what yes. I mean? But that doesn't mean it's sad. You, the ending, you were so swept up in emotions. And that's why well, I was just like, oh, everyone, what? everyone cried. I cried. <laughs> the the um, brick. I, I, I so, uh, anyway... <laughs> It's um, the happiest sad anime. Or it's, yeah, it's the happiest yeah, sad ending. That. Well, shit, because I was going to pick Anahana. Yeah. Speaking of sad endings. Yeah, oh, we maybe we should sadly end this oh, podcast. Maybe, maybe we should end this. I mean, it's, it's, uh, it, yeah. we have run, guys. Yes, we have. Yeah, Jaytaku's taking and, over. But we will be back. Shall, shall we go, shall we go meta and talk about Jaytaku? <laughs> <laughs> shout, shout out to Jaytaku. Jay Taku. Shout out to, shout out to Jaytaku. Um, yeah. But yeah, I think we should end this podcast now, All right. guys. So, Gene, if you could take us out, that'd be great. Sure, that would be awesome. And uh, I'm Gene from Anime Appraisal. And until next time, and uh, here's Garnt. <laughs> I've been Giguk from the Anime Zone, and I'll see you guys next time. I'll see you all next time, dumbass. You forgot your own ending. <laughs> what the wow. fuck are you talking about? You don't know your age, and you don't know your ending. You're right. Garnt. Shut the fuck what? up, Gene. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> Get next person, Gene. Next person. And uh, Holden. Uh, it's been Holden from Holden Reviews. Uh, and until next time, sayonara. See you later. And Tristan. And I'm Arcada from Glass Reflection. Until next time, ladies, gentlemen, and others, stay frosty. And we're done. Bye-bye. We're done. Bye. Bye-bye. So bye. Clan Ad's kind of shit. Later. Clan Ad. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. Don't you fucking do this. <laughs> I have to shit.